Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Here we have the Fastline Spherical Bushings, which were previously known as the PCI Bushings. It's the same product, just now being made by a new manufacturer. So now we're gonna head into the garage and have a look at my old bushings. And yes, I am aware the garage is a mess. This is pretty much what happens in the winter. I'm not in here a lot, and if I am in here, I'm not taking the time to pack away anything. Now it kind of sucks to have not one car parked for the winter, but also the Type R and Type S just sit here for these Canadian winter months. Now on to the bushings. Uh, we have the front inner bushing and the front outer, that's what they refer to. Uh, the one that's connected to the fork, I'm probably just going to get the Moog brand and replace them. As you can see on the front outer, it's already under a lot of stress. The rubber bushings on this do not hold up very well and just to take into consideration, these are OEM bushings. They've been on the car since the car was manufactured back in 2003. Now the front inner bushing is very hard to get to, especially with the Type R under the car, I wasn't able to get a great angle, but you can tell that it's cracked and on the opposite side, the right side of the car which had the most vibration, it's definitely cracked and it's even torn to the point where you can see it sticking out. That would explain why this side of the car had much more vibration and why it was holding me back a lot. Now as for the outer bushing, it's the same thing. In its resting state, it already looks under a lot of stress. So of course with the added load on a turn, I can't imagine what this looks like, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't look good. But now we're gonna have a look at what exactly these bushings were doing. Now that looks rough and trust me, it feels even worse. And just in case you missed it, we're gonna have a quick look back. Just look at the tweeter. The tweeter is actually floating around for a second. It's almost as if it lost gravity. And the only person to witness this that was behind me on this lab actually came up to me afterwards and said, hey, you've got some serious vibration on that front left wheel. This is the video. So just in case you are watching, that was what was going on inside the car. Now of course that was the worst case scenario. Here we have the fastest lap of my day where I tried to control the vibration as much as possible. Every lap I just tried to figure out how I can make the best of it and that was obviously by not accelerating too much, maybe not even half throttle and the same thing goes for the next turn. I pretty much had to work around what I had that day. Now of course I did say that I was going to try to compare lap times or just try to find two similar laps where the beginning of it up to that point up to that turn is similar and here we have on the left side the 2021 fastest lap and the 2020 on the right with the older suspension and older weight setup going into the turn now you can see on the right I'm already ahead I'm already at a much faster pace without that vibration the car is able to have much faster exit speed and the same goes for the next left turn where I'm able to just send the car into the turn and not worry about it vibrating. Now I'm not one to make a lap time based off of a video but everyone watching and myself knows that once I change these bushings it is going to make a difference and the car will be faster this year 